Sophia, my computer is not showing correct time and date. Is there any way to correct it? Yes, Romy, you can change this according to your location. Oh, really? Please tell me how to do that. Okay, Romy, let us learn about this in the chapter. We have already learnt about some of the basic features of Windows 10 in previous classes. Let us learn about its advanced features. Control Panel The Control Panel in Windows 10 is the system folder used to make changes to various settings of the computer. We can control most of Windows commands and features using the various options in the Control Panel. The steps to open Control Panel window are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Start button and then scroll down to Windows System on the Start menu. Step 2. Click on the Control Panel option. The Control Panel window will appear. The Control Panel has been made to configure and administer different aspects of Windows such as the functions of the mouse and keyboard, setting passwords and power options, desktop backgrounds, display settings and audio settings, software and hardware options, setting up and deleting programs, speech recognition etc. Some important computer settings and their uses are as follows. Appearance and personalization. This category allows us to change the visual effects of Windows, which includes adjusting the theme, screensaver and taskbar. Hardware and sound. This category allows us to adjust hardware settings, adjust system sound settings, update drivers and much more. Network and Internet This category is shown when viewing the control panel as categories and allows us to view our network status as well as configure other network settings and preferences. Programs This category is shown when viewing the control panel as categories and allows us to install and uninstall programs on the computer. System and Security this category allows us to view computer system information and settings and view and change the computer security settings as well. Mouse settings. It is very difficult to use a desktop computer without a few additional hardware components attached onto the computer. A monitor is a must as we cannot control anything on the computer without viewing menus and programs. Speakers are important too, especially if we are watching movies. A mouse and a keyboard are also very important, since without them, we cannot use the computer at all. Laptops have all these components inbuilt into their chases. Even if we are using a laptop, an external mouse is very effective to have on hand. Unlike a touchpad, a mouse is much more accurate allowing us to perform tasks we would not want to do using a touchpad. From gaming to working in Photoshop, a mouse is a very important tool. Just buying the mouse is not enough. We need to adjust the settings on the PC to get them work properly. The mouse setting features are found in the control panel. Here, we can set the speed of the pointer, the double-clicking speed, and even change the primary buttons on the mouse. The steps to change the mouse settings are as follows. Step 1. Open the control panel and select Hardware and Sound option. This will open the Hardware and Sound dialog box. Step 2. Click on the Mouse option under the Device and Printers section. This will open Mouse Properties dialog box. There are five tabs on this dialog box and each tab has different mouse settings. Let us learn about these tabs. Buttons This tab allows us to switch the primary buttons on our mouse and set the double-click speed. This tab has three options. Button configuration allows us to configure the mouse in case we are a left-handed person. Double-click speed allows us to configure the speed with which we can double-click. If you are not able to open a folder or document correctly, 
Probably we might want to check this setting and change it. Click lock option allows us to highlight or drag without holding down the mouse button. Pointers. This tab gives us an ability to change the appearance of the mouse pointer as well as its size, color and shape. Pointer options. Click on this tab to access mouse sensitivity settings. The motion slider allows us to adjust the speed of the pointer. We move the slider left or right until we get the wanted sensitivity. We can also check the Enhance Pointer Precision box to improve the accuracy of the pointer. Wheel. This tab holds the option to configure the scrolling speed. We can adjust the horizontal as well as vertical scrolling speed. To adjust the vertical scrolling, we can select the number of lines or the option to scroll entire page. For horizontal scrolling, we can select the number of characters. Hardware. We can change the hardware properties of the mouse and device driver under this tab. Step 3. Once we change the settings as per our requirements, we click on the Apply button for the changes to take effect and then click on the OK button. Date and Time Settings We can change the date and time settings from the Control Panel window. The steps to change date and time settings are as follows. Step 1. Open the Control Panel and click on the Clock and Region option. The Clock and Region dialog box will appear. Step 2. Click on the Date and Time option. The Date and Time dialog box will appear. Step 3. Under this dialog box, click on the Change Date and Time button. Step 4. This will open the Date and Time Settings dialog box. Select Date, Month and Year from the calendar. Step 5. To change time, select Hour, Minute, Seconds and AM or PM. Click on the OK button on the Date and Time Settings dialog box and then on the Date and Time dialog box. The date and time will be changed as per our requirement. Font Settings Managing fonts in Windows 10 is an easy process. The inbuilt font management system is in the Windows Control Panel. Fonts are different styles of writing text or characters in a specific size. We can view, add new fonts or delete existing fonts through Control Panel. Let us learn about this. The steps to add new fonts to the font list are as follows. Step 1. Open the Windows Control Panel and click on the Appearance and Personalization option. Appearance and Personalization dialog box will appear. Step 2. Now click on the Font option. The Font window will appear. Step 3. From here, we can view any font installed on the system, as well as add new ones or remove those that we do not need anymore. Step 4. To add a font, simply drag the font file into the font window. Step 5. To remove fonts, just right-click on the chosen font and select the Delete option. Or, we can also click on the Delete button present above the font thumbnail. Step 6. Click on the Yes button if we really want to delete the font. While removing fonts, it is recommended to be extremely cautious as many of them are considered system fonts, which means Windows uses them within certain programs. Utility Programs of Windows 10 Utility programs are those components of the system software which help to maintain routine computer system tasks. These are small and powerful programs that ensure the smooth functioning of a computer system. Most utility programs are part of the operating system only, but there are some additional utility programs that are purchased to enhance the performance of the computer system. Some examples of these programs include File Compression Utility, Antivirus Program, Disk Cleanup, Disk Defragmenter, etc. Let us learn about some of these utility programs. Disk Cleanup Disk Cleanup is a very useful utility program. 
It is pre-installed in Windows 10. It helps to free up the disk space as it removes unnecessary files on the hard disk. It results in increasing the processing speed and provides more space on the hard disk. The steps to run a disk cleanup utility program on Windows 10 are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. On the Start menu. Select the Windows Administrative Tools and click on the Disk Cleanup option. The Disk Cleanup Drive Selection dialog box will appear. Step 3. Choose the required disk partition and click on the OK button. The Disk Cleanup for E, the selected drive dialog box will appear. Step 4. Click on the files to be deleted. Now, click on the OK button. The process of disk cleanup will start. When we run the disk cleanup utility, it first searches and analyzes the files on the hard drive which are no longer in use and removes them from the hard drive. There are a few file types which are targeted by the disk cleanup on priority basis. The file types include compressed old files, temporary internet files, temporary Windows files, downloaded program files, recycled bin files. Disk Defragmenter Disk defragmentation is the process of optimizing the storage space on the hard disk by rearranging the fragments and storing files in contiguous disk locations. This process increases the access speed as it reduces the time to read or write a file to and from the hard disk. The Disk Defragmenter program is a part of most of the operating systems of Windows 10. The steps to run a Disk Defragmenter utility program on Windows 10 are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. On the Start menu, select the Windows Administrative Tools and click on the Defragment and Optimize Drives option. The Optimize Drives dialog box will appear. Step 3. Choose the required drive for defragment and click on Close. The, the process of disk defragment will start. Data Compression Utility Program Compression means shrinking a file to reduce its size. It is a reduction in the number of bits needed to represent data. Compressed files can be transferred either through emails or portable storage devices. Data Compression Utility Program is a type of utility program that compresses the different types of files such as text, audio and video files so that these files occupy less storage space. Compression Utility is also pre-installed in Windows 10. WinZip and WinRAR are some examples of the Data Compression Utility programs. These are used to compress files and also to decompress a compressed file. The steps to compress a file are as follows. Step 1. Right-click on a file or folder that we need to compress. Step 2. Select Send To option and then click on the compressed zipped folder option from the menu that appears. This will start compressing the required folder. Backup Utility Program Data is very important nowadays. We save most of our important work on our computers. The process of making additional copies of data that can be used to restore the original data in case of damage or accidental data loss is known as backup. Taking regular backups of the data protects it from being lost in case of an accident. Backup Utility Program helps in the creation of a backup of files on the computer. This can either be stored on a CD, DVD, pen drive or even on an external hard disk. Antivirus Software – Virus Scanner Antivirus software is one of the most useful utility software. It is an application designed for detecting and removing the viruses from the computer system. Both free and paid antivirus utility programs are available on the Internet. They can be easily downloaded and installed on the computer system. The antivirus software starts automatically when the computer boots up. 
It keeps a check on the running files and programs. The software tries to remove the virus once it is detected. The following points should be kept in mind to make an antivirus software more effective. There should be a full disk scan periodically. All the files on the computer system should be checked. The antivirus software should run at all times in the background. The antivirus software should have the capability of scanning email attachments and also the files downloaded from the Internet. The software should be updated periodically so that it can recognize new versions of the virus programs. Some of the popular antivirus software are as follows. McAfee, AVG, Avast, Smadov Antivirus. Textionary Forms Different styles of writing text or characters in a specific size. Utility programs These are components of the system software which help to maintain the routine computer system tasks. Disk cleanup The process of cleaning up the hard disk drives. Disk defragmentation The process of optimizing the storage space on the hard disk by rearranging the fragments and storing files in contiguous disk locations. Compression Shrinking a file to reduce its size. Backup The process of making additional copies of data that can be used to restore the original data in case of damage or accidental data loss. Let's refresh. The control panel in Windows 10 is the system folder used to make changes to various settings of the computer. The mouse setting features are found in the control panel. We can change the properties of mouse using the mouse properties dialog box. The wheel tab of the mouse properties dialog box holds the option to configure the scrolling speed. We can change the date and time settings from the control panel window. The inbuilt font management system is in the Windows control panel. The utility programs are small and powerful programs that ensure the smooth functioning of a computer system. The disk cleanup utility program helps to free up the disk space as it removes the unnecessary files on the hard disk. The disk defragmentation process increases the access speed as it reduces the time to read or write a file to and from the hard disk. Data compression is a reduction in the number of bits needed to represent data. We should take regular backup of our work as it protects the data from being lost in case of an accident. Antivirus software is an application designed for detecting and removing the viruses from the computer system.